at a young age i was touched i was touched at a young age i didn't really look at women the way i supposed to be looking at them you know what i'm saying i was mostly looking at guys the way i shouldn't be looking at them oh my god bro what am i doing right now like why am i doing this i don't even know i don't even know why i'm doing this y'all this title is not clickbait this is not clickbait but i feel like i want to do this i don't know why i'm gonna regret it i'm gonna regret it after i post it but i ain't gonna delete it i know i'm not but um i guess i'm not really that like scared or nervous to really speak about this topic simply because i'm not like that no more you feel me like, look at me you know what i'm saying look at me i ain't like that no more but you feel me but um look Whew. first off hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications look follow your boy on ig i need y'all to go do that i mean dog we got over 40k subscribers and only 700 people follow me on instagram that's crazy go follow your boy on instagram you feel me uh so let's get into this little i this i'm gonna this not no story but i'm gonna just call these the pan talks you feel me i'm gonna just start having a whole bunch of conversations with y'all i'm gonna call some of y'all y'all gonna come on y'all get y'all point of view and hey, we gonna get lit on this channel this channel gonna go crazy we already global with it we gotta go up from here you feel me so look uh first off i want to tell y'all this so uh my girl she told me something that was crazy right she told me something that was crazy and this actually got to do with the title okay so she was like uh you know god could free you from something but you always got a choice to go back and that kind of like hit me hard i'm like dang bro i really realized that by me being christian i realized that god does free me from a lot of things but at the end of the day the best thing about god is that you can go to god and he ain't go transform you into no robot it ain't like you know what i'm saying he ain't finna you gotta follow me you gotta do this you gotta do that like people don't want to be christian because they feel like it's a set of rules when it's not you know what i'm saying because you saved by grace and faith you feel me so it's not a just a, it's not a set of rules it is laws that you should keep you feel me like don't have sex before marriage you know it is things that you should keep that can actually help you uh, throughout your life because soul ties that's real you feel me that is straight real and i had a couple soul ties that is real you feel me so uh that kind of hit me hard when she said that because i'm like damn bro uh honestly you know god doesn't free me from pornography god doesn't free me from sex god doesn't free me from homosexuality but i always made that choice to go back because just because god free you from it doesn't mean that the devil ain't finna creep his way in it and tempt you with the same thing god frees you from Woo! that's facts i didn't even that was not part of the script you feel me that's not even the script but i'm just saying i'm just saying everything off the top of my head but that was not part of it you feel me uh but that's just the holy spirit you feel me but uh nah seriously though you know what i'm saying like just because god free you for something doesn't mean that the devil ain't finna creep his way back in to tempt you with the same thing god frees you from and that kind of happened to me i was free from sex but i still struggle with it to this day i ain't a lukewarm christian i'm not just out here just bluntly having sex but it is be it do be hard sometimes because if you have seen my girlfriend you've seen her on my instagram and everything it's hard to have a fine woman and then say you know what i'm waiting to marriage i'm waiting to marriage but when you love god so much you will honestly do that but i'm not gonna lie it is hard it's hard okay especially with the devil all in your ear that's why you got to stay busy throughout your days you got to you know what i'm saying right now it's five o'clock i woke up at three i prayed i read my word i did things just to keep myself busy so by the time seven eight o'clock come i'm tired and the devil can't tell me i'm like devil look man i'm tired look hey hey no i'm not finna go watch porn leave me alone no i don't feel like being my meat right now i'm tired i just came off a 10 hour shift leave me the freak alone i'm going to sleep you know <laughs> that that's exactly how it feels last night i went to bed at seven o'clock bro seven o'clock the devil didn't have time to tempt me in that time frame you feel me i went to bed right away as soon as i got home i went to bed uh but look I was free from sex, right? Uh, I still struggle with it to this day. I still make a choice to sometimes go back to it. I was free from pornography. That's still a whole toll on me that it's hard to just give that up. You feel me? Like when you've done something for so long, it's kind of hard just to, okay, I'm just put it down. It's hard. It's hard to do that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you've done it so long, especially before you come to Christ, you've done something so long, it's going to be hard for you to just say, I'm done. I'm done. It's going to be hard. God can free you from that. But at the same time, you still got to make the choice because at the same time, we still got free will. We could do what we want to do. Now, what we want to do, it depends. Like, it depends. I mean, if you want to live your life, an uh, ungodly life, then you're going to have to suffer the consequences because anything you do on earth, it causes consequences. Even if you do stuff on earth, then you got to suffer the consequences later in life, which is eternity. You want to spend the rest of your life eternity in heaven or hell It's your choice. You got to make your choice because once you die ain't no choice to be made right then and there you know what i'm saying it's either 
you in hell or you in heaven. Simple as that. That's why you got to make a choice now while you have free will. But make the right choice. Don't make the wrong choice. Now, I was free from homosexuality. Now, if y'all watch my channel, y'all know that I, I'm against the LGBT community, right? I'm not like, I'm not supportive of it. At the time I was, you know, everybody was like, live your life, be happy with who you are. Yeah, let's go gay people. Like, I, I mean, I was, I was just like that. You know what I'm saying? I was just like that. That's why I don't really like try to bash the gay community because it's like, I can't really bash something that I was just because I don't support them. Doesn't mean I still doesn't, ha I don't have love and respect for them. I just don't, res I just don't support the sin, but I, still have that love and respect for them and that's what people feel to realize especially if they're not christian or even if they're not some type of if even they don't know nothing about god they feel like i'm just bashing them no you don't have to support everything a person say some of my friends i don't support the ideas and things that they do you know what i'm saying even when it comes to my own girlfriend i don't support the 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 way she thinks sometimes but at the same time that doesn't mean i don't have that love and respect for them i still have my opinion on certain things she got her opinion my homies they got their opinion i got my opinion simple as that it just you don't have to support everything. So I don't support the LGBT community. Now, at a young age, I was touched. I was touched at a young age. And that kind of put a toll on me, bro, because it's like, dang, dude, I was really touched. Like, let, I be thinking about it, like, dang, bro, I was really touched. I feel weird. I feel weird out. You feel me? Especially me being straight now. I, I was never gay. I just was. I was curious. Okay. I was curious. But I'm saying I was free from homosexuality because at that time, I didn't really look at women the way I supposed to be looking at them. You know what I'm saying? I was mostly looking at guys the way I shouldn't be looking at them. You feel me? So that kind of, you know, I was just curious. Like I, I love women. You know what I'm saying? I dated nothing but women. I never dated a dude, but I was always curious to see how things would be with guys. Okay. And I'm being a hundred percent honest with y'all. Um, this is not, like I said, this is not hard for me to really tell the story no more because it's just like, I'm not like that no more. You could judge me on my past, but we living in the present right now. And that is not who I am. You feel me? My past don't define who I am today. You feel me? So, uh, as I was touched at a young age, I kind of, it kind of like put a toll on me because not only was I touched, I was also introduced to pornography. And after being introduced to pornography, it led to other pornos and other things like i stopped watching it led from straight porn to gay porn now i'm watching gay porn now it led from gay porn to transsexual porn or transgender porn whatever you want to name it okay it led to that because it's like i like women so what if i watch women with titties and it, like i mean that, that that's exactly, that's how i was thinking remind you i was i think i was in third grade third grade knowing about all of this you feel me i knew about cross dress i knew about so many things because i was introduced to it in a public school you feel me my parents didn't my mama didn't teach me this i didn't learn this from a family member no i was introduced to this in a public school so that's why you know it's best to even homeschool your kids or take them to a private school but they could still be introduced to something in a private school but i was introduced to this in a public school you know what i'm saying so after doing that, and you know, my mama called it on the computer one day, uh, when I was young. I remember looking it up and she called it one day, you know, I got in trouble for it. But after doing that for so long, I kind of became curious to my sexuality. Now I didn't know what gay or straight was. I was young. I didn't know neither one of those two things was. I just knew that, okay, I see dudes doing this with dudes, and I see women doing this with dudes, but I kind of more I'm more interested in the dudes doing this with dudes. And that kind of like now that I'm looking at it, it's like weird. Like, why would I watch the why was I watching stuff like that? Like, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't even tell you that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, as I'm doing them type of things, I didn't realize that it was draining me. Not phys not just physically and mentally, but it also was drain draining me spiritually. I realized that I didn't have God in my life. I didn't. I didn't have God in my life. Yes, I said I was Christian, but I didn't have I, the only reason I said I was Christian is because I went to church. And let me tell you this right now today. Just because you go to church don't make you a Christian. The devil go to church too, but guess what? He's the devil. So you know what I'm saying? Does that make him Christian too? No, he's not Christian. Anybody can go to church. Anybody can sit in church, listen for a sermon for about an hour or so, and then go out. And still do the same thing they was doing before they came into church. You feel me? It's just doing church doesn't make you a Christian. And that's what I felt. I felt like, oh, I'll go to church. I mean, I'm a Christian. God loves me for who I am. God loves me for who I am. Why he make me this way? But he didn't make me this way. It's, I was introduced to something because the devil attacked me because the devil knew I was anointed. The devil attacks you when he knows that you're anointed. And it always starts off when you're a child. Why do you think some of y'all got past trauma when you was a kid? 
Some of y'all got a little past trauma when y'all was a kid because y'all were anointed in something. And, you know, the devil knew that. So that's why he tried to attack you at a young age because he, he wanted you to lose your faith. And the devil wanted me to lose my faith. And I definitely did. I definitely did. I thought I was gay. I thought I was all these type of things. And one thing led to another. Now, not only was I watching that type of stuff, but I also was on gay dating sites. Now, let me tell y'all this story. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. I was like 14. I was like 14, maybe 12, maybe 12, 14. My, bro, my bio says some crazy stuff. I still remember. I think it was like fat booty. I had to do math because I had to change the date. Because remind you, you know, you can't get in on this side unless you're 18 and up. So I had to change the date. So I didn't know what the year, I didn't know what age would I be at 18. So I was like, okay, I don't know what age I'll be at no number besides, you know, 2003 at that time, you know, 20 years old. I'm like, damn, how, what, how old would I be in? Uh, how old would I be if I was 18? Like, you know, I was, I'm just thinking about math and stuff. And I sucked at math. That was the worst thing I ever did was try to think about math when you suck at math. But I was doing that, right? And my date was, I think it was February 6, 1980 something. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, girl, man, my bio said some weirded out stuff. I was, and then after doing no dating sites, I had dudes trying to link up with me. Link up, literally, bro, link up. Like, I'm, I'm 12 years old. They're trying to link up with the 12 year but they didn't know that. They didn't know that. So it was like kind of like I would just have conversations and send pictures that I shouldn't have been sending. Like, why am I sending my body to other people? You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I was curious at this time. Like, this is the time that I was like real, real curious. And then this all led to another thing, another situation. Not only was I curious, now I'm over here trying to be like a woman. You feel me? And that didn't work out because... I'm over buff trying to be like a woman. You feel me? I was, as a kid, I wasn't buff. But as a kid, I you know, I was like a little muscular. Like I was like a I was like a little muscular kid. Everybody everybody told me I should play football. And I was like a little muscular kid and nobody knew about this. Nobody knew about this. I kept this to myself because I didn't feel comfortable sharing this with people. Because I'm like, nobody needs to know who 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 I'm really am. And then let me tell y'all, man, after being, after being curious for so long, I realized that it's, and I'm only telling this story simply because I want to help another young brother out. After being curious for so long, I realized that it's a lot of down low people out here. It's a lot of DLs. Like, watch out for y'all boyfriends because some of y'all, it's ADLs, like for real. Like, after being curious for that long, I realized, bro, it's a, it's a lot of like down low people. Like, a lot of down low people. Like, it's like, dang, boy, I thought you was straight. Dang, boy. You taking stuff to the cheeks? That's tough. I thought you were straight. But it's a lot of people like that out there. I'm telling you. You know, and I'm just telling the story just to help another young brother out. I feel like another young brother needs to hit us, you know, especially if they with Christ and they believe that they doing, they know they're doing the wrong thing, but it's hard to give it up because at the end of the day, you know, it's like you've been doing it for so long. It's bound to you. It's like it's all in your head. You still got images pre-planned in your head and all this. And after going on those dating sites, it led to making Twitters. You know what I'm saying? I started making gay Twitters. I started making all type of Twitters. Then I started to try to link up with guys. And it was just like bad because I didn't have a car. So it was like, what, what I was going to do? Ride my bike? Ride a scooter? Like, how, how the world I was going to get to them? You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that nothing like that happened. But... I was free from that. And that's the best part about it. And that's the best part about like this whole little story is that I was free from something that I was bound to. You know what I'm saying? So this is the whole thing. Like, don't be scared to ask God to free you from something. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to ask God to free you from something. If you know something is draining on you, if you know something is killing you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, don't be scared to say, look, God, I need your help. I need to be free from this. And he will free you. He will free you from it. But you still need you still have a choice to make whether you gonna allow god to free you from it or whether you finna relapse and go back to it and allow the devil to creep in and and tempt you with the same thing that you was bound to because that's how the devil get us he'll tempt us with the same thing he know that we'll fall for i mean the devil tempt me with pornography so much you know what i'm saying and for women a lot of women like, that ain't hard to give i mean that ain't hard i ain't really do it but a lot of my dudes y'all know y'all know bro a lot of my guys out there know like that is something so hard because it's like, I want to quit. I want to give it up, but it's like, ah, it's an urge. It's a temp. Like I'm tempted to go back to it. That's the devil. He know you will be tempted to go back to something that you, that you once want to be, that you want to be free from. That's how he get us. 
You know what I'm saying? We be tempted with the same thing. We be like, damn, bro, why am I tempted to do this? Why why do I feel like I want to do this? But, but I know it's wrong. See, the devil, he ain't dumb. He's smart. He's a smart devil. I'm not going to lie. He's smart. He know what can get us and what, what can make us fall short. He know what can pull us more away from God. You feel me? So, yes, I was free from homosexuality. But one thing I want to tell all the gay people out there, this is like a little message to y'all. Be happy with who you are, okay? Be happy with who you are. But let me tell you something. Just because you're happy with who you are, that doesn't mean that, you know what I'm saying, that God made you this way. You can't, like, I, I don't like when people say, God made me this way. God made me this way. I believe that God didn't make you this way. I believe that, you know what I'm saying, it's a, it's a thing that can be, it's a thing that's called where something can go on from generation to generation to generation. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, your grand, maybe your grandparents was down low. Maybe your mother or your or your father was down low. You never know until they actually tell you the story. But I don't believe, and I believe that if you was born this way, if you feel like you was born this way, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you still make a choice at the end of the day. Nobody didn't tell you, oh, like girls. Nobody didn't tell you that. You found the girl attractive? Okay. But you can always be free from it. I'm going to tell you like that. You can always be free from it. I'm a prime example. I was free from this. If you would have seen my old Twitter, if I didn't deactivate that Twitter and I still have that Twitter to this day, if you would have seen it, that Twitter is gone, long gone. It's, you can't even look up the name no more. Try it. Try it. Try to look it up. I think it was like thick underscore Brandon. My name is not even Brandon. My name is Jalen. <laughs> I was out here wilding. You can't even look that up. I don't even think it'll pop up. I should never said that because now I feel like I don't know. I don't know. I should I should really go to like, I don't know. I should really look that up before I post this video. Um, But no, seriously, though. You can be free from it. You can honestly be free from whatever you bound to. God ain't treating you no different than he treat anybody else. You think you can't be free from being gay? You think you can't be free from being a transgender? You could be free from it. It's just that y'all make the choice to live that life because that's what y'all used to. And it's going to be hard to give it up. But trust me, I done watched. I done seen lesbians, pure lesbians turn straight. I'm talking. I, I done seen th studs. People that, girls that dress like dudes and, you know, want to be dude and all this. But they see a spider and they act like a female right away. Ah, spider! Like, I, I done seen it all and they turn back straight. You can be free from whatever you want to be free from. God can do that. I was free from home. I was free from being curious. No, I wasn't completely gay, but I was curious. And now that, now that I'm making videos and saying, oh, LGBT this, LGBT that. It don't make me look like a hypocrite because at the end of the day, I'm not saying... Oh, I can't stand them. I don't like them. I'm not saying that. I just don't support y'all. You can be whatever. You can literally be free from whatever. I I kid you not, whatever. You just got to make that choice to leave it alone. And if the devil come and tempt you, man, look. We stronger than the devil. Believe that. When you put on the full armor of God, you can take down the devil with an ah, ah, he, ah, 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 you know what I'm saying? And that's why you got to stay in your word. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to get this like the little testimony. It's like a little testimony thing. Like I said, I'm gonna start calling these like the pen talks. The pen talking with the pen. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk about a lot of stuff like racism or relationships. I'm gonna be talking about like it's like a podcast, but it's not because it's always gonna be under probably 20 something minutes. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe 28 minutes. It's always gonna be under that. It ain't gonna be no longer than that. So you know what I'm saying? It's not really a podcast, but it's more like a it's more like a testimony because I feel like y'all need this. Y'all really need this. And I gave out my testimony. Like, yes, I was free from homosexuality. This is not fake. This is real. This is real. I was free from this, bro. I was bound to this. This is something that I struggle with. My mama don't even know this. She might know it now. Hey, ma. I mean, like, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. This happened years ago. I'm 19 now, bro. I ain't worried. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried. I know I'm not like that no more. Thank God for freeing me because, honestly, whew, I didn't think I was going to get free from that. I, like, when I came to Christ and I asked God, like, hey, like, free me from homosexuality. Free me from pornography. And then once my girl said that, I'm like, dang, that's true. I still had a choice. And I made that choice to go back to the things that I was free from. But I love y'all, man. I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Uh, Hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? But that's the least y'all can do. I just gave out my testimony. Y'all don't go follow me on IG. Like, bro, follow, follow me on IG. I love y'all, man. I thank you. I, I, I love all y'all, man. Like I said, just because you're free from something don't mean that you don't have a choice. You can be free from something, but still have a choice. The devil will always tempt you for something that you was free from. Remember that. Trust in God. Believe in God. 
I'm telling you, this is real. This is life, bro. This is life. Life ain't about partying and drinking and doing all. No, this is life. Life is all about just worshiping the Lord and following the Lord. I ain't saying because look, I, look, I'm not, look, I'm gonna get into that in the next in the next one, okay? Uh, it, look, I'm gonna get into that in the next one. I ain't finna keep talking. When I do these talks, I talk forever. So let me just go ahead and get off of y'all. Say hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.